What's going on, movie fans? Welcome back to JBuck Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. And I was able to check out a Netflix movie that is actually coming out this Friday, May 22nd, which I was supposed to see at South by Southwest this year, but it was canceled, and it's called... The Lovebirds. On the brink of breaking up, a couple gets unintentionally embroiled in a bizarre murder mystery. They must clear their names while figuring out how they and their relationship can survive the night. So is this new Netflix comedy film packed full of laughs? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know down below if you guys are excited for this new comedy film landing on Netflix. Now let's get into some of the good. So right off the bat, it has little hints of a rom-com, but very much is a comedy film. Following our two main characters, played by Camille Nanjanati and Issa Rae, I believe Gibran and Lelani, they're this couple, they come together, and they have great chemistry at the beginning. Then flash forward a few years, and we find out that, you know, any relationship, there's tolls that have been taken, it's very much worn down, and I wouldn't say exactly a fractured relationship, but you can see that they're not really where they were at the the beginning of the relationship and I think that that's what I liked in this film probably the most the best part of this film is the relationship between the two and the chemistry amongst the two characters along with the actor and actress in this film because when you see that they're like in love you feel that they are in love but then they have such great chemistry that they are able to portray that they're not in a loving relationship anymore it seems so weird because they have chemistry to show that they don't have chemistry and I think I like that portion because it was very believable that they went from you know the beginning budding portions of a relationship to very much this kind of fractured um, falling apart relationship but then the dialogue between the two um, the writing that you know factored into the dialogue I thought was very well crafted almost tying back in with that chemistry because they are able to throw these quick lines out there very mundane things that you talk about in a relationship because you're forgetting kind of what to talk about you've already told all of the stories and it's very funny the little tiny things that they bring up and it's almost these things that are references to you know going on a date and it's like oh why is that or oh that is kind of funny so I liked the the dialogue and the chemistry between these two characters however getting further into lovebirds I felt like there was that special spark that was just missing from this movie. It sort of feels like a mixture of game night with kind of the run all night shenanigans along with date night. And I don't know, it just felt like something was missing from this movie because when the two characters are going back and forth, kind of, you know, saying these quick, funny lines like I was saying, that's great. But when we get the filler stuff of the actual plot with these characters going off and doing these wacky things, running into other characters, it feels like it loses its luster it feels like it's just kind of mundane you want to get back to these characters and it honestly kind of breaks up the pacing of the film because I thought that it'd be kind of like this run all night type movie you know getting themselves into trouble trying to solve this mystery and then it ends in the way that you probably think it's going to end but it just felt like those sections that brought in other characters and them going to different places felt like it dragged a little bit. And not only did all of those scenes sort of drag and break up the pacing, but it felt very confusing almost because it's bringing in these other characters, them falling into these li unlikely situations, dealing with these potentially bad people. But that portion of the movie, which is about half the movie, doesn't feel like it's very strong in what are the motivations of these characters? What is going on with these groups of characters? How are all of these characters essentially connected? And what is the main kind of, not main plot or through line, but what is the the situation these characters have gotten themselves into? It's present, but after watching the film and thinking back on it, it is very paper thin of sort of what was the background plot and bad plan or evil plan throughout this movie. Lovebirds is more of a focus on this couple going through trying to mend their relationship while everything else is happening around them. Overall, The Lovebirds is a solid comedy landing on the Netflix platform, with it featuring fun characters at the forefront with great chemistry and fun dialogue, but paper-thin motivations, a bunch of scenes that do feel a bit disjointed, and it missing that special spark. I would borderline check this out and maybe skip out on it. I mean, if you're looking for a kind of a fun date night 
comedy film. This is exactly what it is. It's a quick watch, but it doesn't feel like it really has that element that's going to elevate it into a rewatch or a memorable film. In closing, I'm going to give The Lovebirds three out of five pans of bacon grease. So what did you guys think of The Lovebirds? Are you looking forward to this film? Let me know if you've already seen it or very much looking forward to it. I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there. You know, brand new content every single week here on the J Buck Studios channel. I did a brand new ending explained poorly for Sleepaway Camp 1983s. Check that out over there. Follow all of my social media down below. Like this video. Subscribe to the J Buck Studios channel, and until next time, we'll see you later.